abstract classes. A class that is declared as abstract is called an abstract class. An abstract class will include the keyword abstract in its class definition. An abstract class contains one or more abstract methods. Abstract methods are different from the regular methods of a class in that they do not have any definition and they have only the declaration part. There can be non-abstract methods in an abstract class but at least one abstract method must be present. Abstract classes cannot have objects that is they cannot be instantiated. They serve, they serve as a base class during inheritance. Whenever an abstract class is subclassed, the derived class must provide definition for the abstract methods. There can be any number of derived classes for a class and all the derived classes can provide their own implementation for the abstract methods. Abstract methods can be created using the keyword abstract. It follows the regular prototype of a regular method. Additionally, it includes the keyword abstract during method declaration. So, an abstract method can be created using this syntax. Abstract keyword return type of the method followed by the method name. So, this abstract method can take one or more parameters. There can also be abstract methods which does not accept any parameters. An abstract class can be created using this syntax. Give the keyword abstract, give the class keyword and the user defined class name. So, your regular class will contain the keyword class and the corresponding class name whereas an abstract class will have the keyword abstract in addition. So, this abstract class can have one or more abstract methods. It is mandatory to have at least one abstract method in an abstract class. It may also include non-abstract methods that is the methods that can have implementations. So, this is a short introduction about abstract class. So, now we can see a sample program to illustrate the concept of abstract classes. So, I open an editor where I create a Java program to calculate the area of shapes. So, I declare a class shape which is an abstract type. So, because it is an abstract type, I need to include this keyword. I declare an abstract method calculate to calculate the area of shapes. So, I need to give the keyword abstract as the first thing. So, this is the base class shape which is an abstract class. So, any class that is using this shape as a base class need to give the implementation for the method calculate. So, as you can see the syntax is abstract class and class name. So, here it is abstract class shape and for the method abstract return type method name. So, here it is abstract the return type is void and the method name is calculate. So, now I create a class circle that 
extends shape. So circle is a base class. Circle uses the base class shape. So since circle is a subclass, it needs to give the implementation for calculate. So as you can see in the introduction part, whenever an abstract class is subclass, the implementation must be provided. So this class circle must give the implementation for the method calculate. So before that, I declare a method read. So this method is used to get the radius input for the particular circle object. So I create a scanner object to read the input from the user. And using the scanner object, I read the radius of the circle. So now I declare the variable r that holds the radius of the circle object. And another variable of type double area to hold the calculated area value. So this subclass circle must provide the definition for calculate. So here I need to give void calculate. So the keyword abstract needs to be given only in the prototype, only in the declaration part and when you define the method it is not necessary to give the keyword abstract. So just return type followed by the method name. So here I give the formula for calculating the area and for printing the value of area. So this scanner is used to get the user input. So for calculation of area, so any variable that is used in a program must be declared. So because I have used a scanner class, I need to import java.util.star package. So now I create another class square. So subclass square is created and this subclass square must also give its implementation for calculate. So if the subclass does not give any implementation for the method then this itself must declare the method as abstract. So class square extends shape. So here I give sides of the square double area. I have one more read method. To read the sides of the square using the scanner object. S is equal to side is equal to s dot next int to read the side input. So again void calculate. So this, me this method calculate which is an abstract method is implemented by the subclass square 2. So I calculated the area side into side and I print the area value. So as you can see we have one abstract class shape and it has two subclasses circle and square. So circle has its own read method, square has its own read method and both must mandatorily implement the calculate method. So you can see an abstract method contains only the declaration part. So declaration part in a sense give the prototype and end it with the semicolon. So one or more abstract methods can be there in an abstract class. So in this example, I take only one abstract method that is calculate. So now I create another class demo to illustrate the use of these abstract classes and methods. So I write the main method here.
so this main method i create object for circle so for creating an object the syntax is class name object name equal to new class name so here the class name is circle the object name is c so i read the value for uh, the radius of circle c dot read and i calculate the area using c dot calculate so si similarly i do it for square square sq is equal to new square so here square is the class name sq is the object name so using the object you can call the methods of the class so sq dot read followed by sq dot calculate so you can see only one method calculate that is declared in the class shape that can be used by multiple subclasses providing their own definitions so here to give an user input for prompting the user to give the input i type enter the radius of the circle similarly i need to give enter the sides of the square for better user readability so here i give the area of the circle s so that the user will have a better vision of the output better understanding of the output so again here for square enter the sides of the square again for printf or println so here it is the area of the square is so this is a program that illustrates the use of abstract classes and methods so how do we create an abstract class and how do we subclass it and how the subclasses give the implementation for the abstract methods so i save it using a demo.java which is the class name so here so everything is done the abstract class declaration and the definitions of the abstract methods and the main method which creates objects for the abstract classes subclasses so i compile the program java c demo dot java so no errors so i execute enter the radius of the circle i give 5 we get the output similarly the side of the square is given so we got the output so same method calculate each subclass give their own definitions so abstract class shape here thank you for watching